Hey, this is the Advanced Creative Writing class. This is our first video, and uh, we'll keep it pretty simple for today. All I want to let you know is I'm going to be creating a discussion forum for you guys to get on where I want you to be posting excerpts of your of the, the story you've been writing, the one you've been reading in class for each of us and we've been responding to. So I want you to post an excerpt to that. Uh, keep it about the same length that you would, that you'd be reading in class, and then um, we are... All the peers are going to be responding to each of your everybody's everybody's work, and make sure that the responses you make are specific. You know, what is what's working for you? If you have a question as a result of their work, make sure you post that question. Um, we don't want to be slamming each other, but we also don't want to just sit there and, and pat each other on the back because we're trying we're trying to do some some quality work here, regardless of the the genre we're writing it, regardless if the story is something that's humorous or um, scary or, or serious or what have you so I will that discussion forum will be available for you on our blackboard page so go there and do that and then what I also want you to do is to be prepared to email to me through blackboard two things first the first thing I want you to email me is a collection of two different pieces of information and that is three to five names of places where you could send your work to be submitted and uh, to be submit your work for publication and what I mean by that is is it a journal is it a magazine I, I don't want I'm not interested in the publishing house I'm not interested in uh, something of that major scale yet first I want you to consider those smaller places to be sending your work and again if it's a if it's a place that's online that's that's just as good um, you can be looking for well, what might be considered a, a serious place to submit your work, um, but just start out small. This is my first piece of advice. What you can do is you can go to submittable.com. A lot of these places require that you submit through this portal known as Submittable, and Submittable can give you a bit of an update on who's accepting work right now, what kind of work are they accepting, and that'll give you an idea of where to go search to seek out and see where is your where is your work most likely to find a home. The other resource I would suggest is Duotrope, D-U-O-T-R-O-P-E, Duotrope.com. Um, writers will use this. It is a resource you can pay for. You can have a membership, and they will regularly update you um, with advertisements for, again, this place is seeking these type of works and you can publish your poems here you can publish your short stories you can publish your essays your novels um, or novel excerpts but if you don't want the paid version of duotrope you can just sign up for their email newsletter and they'll every now and again i think it's monthly they send you an email with just a few listings of places that are looking for work what type of work they're looking for and then when you click on the links provided in the email it's um They'll they'll like that'll give you a little more re information on those sources. The other resource I would suggest is poetsandwriters.com. They're a great magazine, but if you don't want to buy the magazine, again they have a free email newsletter they'll send you, or you can just remind yourself to go to their website and they have con they are constantly updating uh, their database with here's who's accepting work and they are a great research tool. To go, okay, this is the type of work I'm writing, this is the type of stuff that interests me, where can I find places that are publishing that type of work? So use Submittable, Duotrope, Poets and Writers uh, as for a way of finding three to five sources that you think would be a great place for you to submit your work. The other thing I want you to be uh, s submitting to me, well, tell you what, we'll leave it at that for this week as far as places to submit. Along with that, then, I want you to email me a, a, um, a rough draft for your philosophy of art. And your philosophy of art, again, you can pull from all the different things we've read this semester, right? We've read Annie Dillard's uh, The Stump Pilot, which comes from her work on The Writing Life, which is really a, a work about art in general. We have um, the, um, the video on The Creative Genius. We have the essay on how do we know it's good. We have how do how do we read or why should we read. We have all these different things that we've read this semester and things we've talked about. So use those as a way of putting together your philosophy of art. And all that document needs to be is a single page. 
right? Double space times New Roman, 12 point font, and just be considering, you know, what do you think art is supposed to be for and what type of art are you hoping to create and uh, promote out there in the world, right? So th those are the things. We'll have the discussion form available for you, for you to discuss your work, and I'll be hopping on there and checking out your work and responding, and then you'll have to email me three to five places you think you should submit your work, places that you think are reputable and where you, you stand a good chance of getting of landing you know, your type of work, and then a rough draft of your philosophy of art, all right? And again, it's just a rough draft. You don't have to overthink it. We've only got about a week for the turnaround there, but uh, just if you get something on the page, and then we can kind of see what you're dealing with there, all right? All right, so this video goes up. You'll have a week to get all this work turned in. No huge rush, but, um, and then we'll post another video, and we'll, we'll work out from there, all right? Okay. Thank <laughs> you.